Hey guys, so I am filming a collab today. It's going to be my Holy Grail products and there's quite a few of us doing it but I'll link the um, channels of the other YouTubers in the description box so you can go check out their videos as well. So I'm just going to crack on with my Holy Grail products and I'm going to be telling you why they are my Holy Grail products. I hope you guys enjoy. So my first one I'm going to start off with, I've got a little list of the order I'm going to do them in. So I'm going to start off with my Holy Grail brush. So my go-to Holy Grail brush at the moment is the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Stippling Brush. Um, it's just so easy. This, obviously, this needs a wash actually to be fair so I can't really show you but you just go like that and you can get the foundation exactly where you want around your face and yeah that is my go to brush at the moment. I have got several other Real Techniques brushes but this is the one I am using the most at the moment. I'm switching between this and the Real Techniques buffing brush I think it is. But this one is definitely the one I'm sticking to right now because I just like the way it puts my foundation on. Moving on, my next one is foundation. So, over the last year or two, I have been varying the foundations that I use. And I've been switching between both of these, trying to make up my mind. So this one here is the... Rimmel London Match Perfection in number 10 Light Porcelain. And this one is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour number 10 Light Porcelain. And that's a full coverage one. This one is... I think this is only a medium coverage, this blue one. But I have to say, when you look... I have three bottles of each because I go through foundation really like quickly. I don't know how. But the one that I like that I would call my holy grail foundation has to be the lasting finish 25 hour one. This one matches my skin perfectly even though they're in the boat like both in the same shade. This one comes out perfectly and that one comes out orange on my face and I'm not quite sure how that works, like, I'm not sure, but this is definitely my holy grail foundation, the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour one. So I would definitely recommend that. I've put bronzer slash blusher because I switched between the two. So my holy grail bronzer is always going to be, unless I find another one that I like, the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer and it's a waterproof bronzing powder with SPF 15 in it. So it's just this gorgeous bronzy colour and this is in the shade 025 Sun Glow. And this is really nice on my skin, it gives a nice little shimmer to it as well. So I like that. And then obviously blusher as well, my Holy Grail blusher. I have had this same, not this same one, obviously I've repurchased it over and over, but I've always gone back for this same one. It's the number 17 blusher in the shade First Kiss and it's just this gorgeous pinky shimmery colour and I love it. As long as you don't put too much on the brush, brush then it comes out lovely on your skin. So then, moving on, I've only recently started using this one. It's, this is the fourth Holy Grail product, which is lipstick. Oh, I've got cramp in my hand. Yeah, so my fourth Holy Grail product is one that I recently purchased, like literally less than a week ago, I think. But I've literally worn it non-stop since. So... Actually, no. I stand corrected. It was about two weeks ago, I think, actually. Um, but yeah, I've worn it quite a lot. It's the 
Maybelline New York Vivid Matte Liquid um, Lipstick in this gorgeous shade which is 50 Nude Thrill and it is absolutely gorgeous I would recommend it so much and I love matte lipsticks like they have become a serious thing to me just recently so yeah I'm in love with this I also purchased two of the Tiny Bear ones um, but I'm liking Maybelline's ones at the minute. I love Tanya's ones, but these ones are amazing. Like, I cannot fault it. It was so nice. I would definitely like to try some of the MAC liquid lipsticks. Because obviously this is a liquid one. Um, I want to try some of the MAC liquid ones. Because I think they've got some matte shades as well. So yeah, that is my lipstick. Number five Holy Grail product is powder. I have had this powder for, I can't even tell you how long I've been using this for, but I literally, right in front of me, I have four of these powders, but these two, oh sorry I've got hiccups, are practically empty, and this one broke on me, so yeah. I have had this product for I don't know how long but this is a new one that I recently purchased because obviously I'm getting low and this is in the shade 021 transparent it's just clear powder to just go and make your foundation stay on your face or just make your whole face makeup stay on so Holy Grail product number six is eyebrows. So it depends what kind of mood I'm in. Sometimes I will leave them just natural like they are at the moment. Or if I'm on a night out with my friends or going somewhere where I feel like I need a bit more makeup, then I will fill them in and I use the Rimmel London Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit. And this is in the shade 002 Medium Brown. Ugh, can't get it under. So obviously this one here you have your wax and the powder. I used the wax once and I've not used it since. Obviously you can see I have been using the powder quite a lot. And then finally to finish us off is the seventh holy grail product which is mascara. So my holy grail mascara that I have been using for probably two years now I think maybe is the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline New York this mascara although I I actually have naturally long eyelashes already but this mascara is like literally amazing it gives you the nice fullest like fullest lashes I can't talk it gives you the nice fullest lashes and I just would recommend it to anybody who wants that false looking eyelash kind of look because this does the perfect job and I literally can't fault it, it's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I will be back again soon with hopefully some more interesting videos for you. Make sure to leave some comments down below for me of what you would like to see because I've got a few suggestions in my mind, but I just want you guys to give me some suggestions of what you'd like to see as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this collab. Please go check out the other girls' videos because they're going to have done an amazing job, I know. And yeah, I will speak to you again soon. Bye!